It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 29th of February. Hey, only one of these days every four years, huh? All right, today will be fairly nice with only a small chance of a shower. Some risk of strong, maybe severe storms late tomorrow and early tomorrow night. That'll be the focus of this discussion, so here we go. There's the water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. Still a fairly dry air mass in place here across the deep south. A little wave uh, north and east of the state. Another one will be coming in from the west tomorrow. Starting off the day in the 50s, Birmingham at 54. We'll expect a high today pretty close to 70 in most spots. It'll feel awfully nice. This is the watch warning map around the nation. Things are relatively quiet. A few winter weather advisories up north, including a winter storm warning around uh, uh, that zone between Chicago and Milwaukee. In terms of uh, severe weather, this is the convective outlook today. There is the standard slight risk over parts of Oklahoma. That includes Oklahoma City and Tulsa. And then tomorrow, we have the standard slight risk from near Monroe, Louisiana to near Cincinnati. And, of course, surrounding that, a marginal risk. This is the uh, closer look for our state. The standard slight risk, the areas in yellow, north of a line from near Sweetwater to Prattville to Rockford to Heflin. Then a marginal risk down to Mobile, Andalusia, and Eufaula. And, of course, we'll uh, talk about this here in just a moment, give you all the specifics in our thinking. And on day three, no severe weather expected around the country. That's Wednesday. Rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning, about one inch for the northern half of the state. That will be with the showers and storms late tomorrow and tomorrow evening, and then another round of showers on Thursday. But let's dive into this. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run today at noon. You can see a vortex way north of us over Canada. And it's a zonal flow, so it's going to be pretty mild. And uh, the chance of rain relatively small today. We'll expect a high between 67 and 70. This is the high-res HER at 6 o'clock, showing nothing more than a few very isolated showers over west-central Alabama. Most of you will not get rain today. Tomorrow, a trough begins to dig down through the Mississippi River Valley. At midday, a surface low is southeast of Indianapolis with a trailing front. Six o'clock tomorrow evening, the surface low is under 1,000 millibars approaching Pittsburgh with a trailing front. And that's not really a classic severe weather look for us. And then uh, midnight tomorrow night, the surface low is moving up into New York. So let's look at the high-res NAM in terms of the timing this is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, a band of heavier storms over northwest Alabama. By 9 o'clock, those storms are south and east of Birmingham, down toward uh, Ashland and Lineville and places like that. So um, it'll be kind of a quick event. We'll check the severe weather parameters, and this will be the limiting factor, I think. It's the instability values, the surface-based CAPE. And the numbers are under 1,000 joules per kilogram. And this is tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. And really, the dew points never get out of the 50s. And that'll be quite a limiting factor. The bulk shear in advance of the front uh, ramping up to over 65 knots. And that and again, that could mean a few you know, rotating updrafts and maybe an isolated tornado. And this is the significant tornado parameter. And the numbers do exceed one unit over parts of North Alabama in a few spots. So it's a pretty limited threat, but something we'll have to watch anytime you have numbers like this. This is a, the approximate timing, 3 to 7 p.m. over northwest Alabama, 4 to 8 p.m., Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Huntsville, and then Anniston, Gadsden, Talladega, 6 to 10 p.m. That's the main window. And again, some of the storms could produce strong, gusty winds. And there could be an isolated tornado. But I would not call this a major threat. But hey, if one tornado's in the entire state and it comes down your street, then that's a big deal. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Wednesday, we are cool and dry. A good supply of sunshine, the high dropping back in the 50s. And then Thursday, you can see a wave coming in from the west with a surface low that's uh, over southeast Missouri. This is Thursday at 6 o'clock, and you can see uh, rain pushing in here. So we'll bring back the chance of 
uh, rain. There could be some thunder, but no severe weather expected Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. And then Friday, that's on by. The sky becomes partly sunny. And I'd say the high both days should be in the upper 50s. But for the weekend, we warm up nicely. Another beautiful weekend. This is Saturday, March 5th, sunny with mid-60s. And Sunday, sunny with upper 60s, likely. Very much like the weather we enjoyed this past weekend. Here's a week from today, Monday, the 7th of March. Big trough digging down into the Gulf of California in the southwest United States. But a big ridge over the Midwest, and that looks uh, pretty quiet, very mild. The high would be around 70. This is the end of the forecast, the middle of next week, Wednesday, March 9th. We'll keep an eye on the trough in the southwest. It's gradually lifting out and a band of showers and storms approaching. Hey, this is March. Anything goes, you know. But boy, if you're looking for the the late season cold snap, it's just not going to happen anytime soon. This is the uh, temperature outlook coming from the guys at uh, CPC. And this is for March March 7th through March 13th. You can see the eastern half of the nation with above average temperatures that is reflected in the GEFS ensemble numbers. Look at those 70s, lows 50s, and low 60s on through mid-March. Cold snap's coming, I think, but no evidence of that in the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.